I want you to tell us why your character is the best new addition to the world of The Witcher. He's a badass. He wears black. He has a cape. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, without being humble, I want you to tell us why your character is the best new addition to the world of The Witcher. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Dear. Thank you. Um, Balor knows what he wants. He's been hard done by for his whole life. He's been treated as lowborn scum, even though he's the chief mage of the age. And he wants people to know that you don't treat people like that. And oh my God, it's really bad when he brings his form of justice to the world. He's a badass. He wears black. He has a cape. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, we are here to talk about a show set thousands of years before the original series. And yet here you are. So I have to ask, are you the single most important person in the history of the continent? <gasps> I think Yaskia would definitely think so. Yeah, yeah. Yaskia thinks that's <laughs> true. Yaskia definitely thinks that. I think I'm. I'm. I think maybe I'm just the cheapest. Uh, <laughs> Are you available? <laughs> I know you can't really tell us. I know why you're here, but you can't really tell us. Is there anything you can give the audience before they see the show about why we're talking to you? I think uh, fans of the show will know that, uh, that, that there's some uh, narrative storytelling shenanigans going on. Uh, that is, that isn't, he's not going to time travel or, um, or is particularly immortal that we know of. Um, but yeah, his job is to, his job is always a storyteller and this is why he's here. He's to hear the story and tell it and try and change the world. Speaking of storytelling, uh, Lenny, this show I think uses storytelling and character tropes in the best way. Were there any characters from pop culture that you took inspiration from for your performance? That's an interesting thing. Clearly the, the Tolkien wizard trope had a lot to do with, um, what was going with Balor, but it was like the flip side of that, the flip side of the benevolent, kindly person, the person who's quick-witted and just has no time for royalty or the aristocracy, the person with the chip on his shoulder about being treated like crap for his whole life, and yet has developed these amazing skills, but who wants more? I kind of like Doctor Doom. <laughs> I think Doctor Doom, as being one of the foremost minds of his age, who is continually frustrated <laughs> that Reed Richards is so much cleverer than him. It's so annoying. So I think Balor has a bit of that going on. Any of those guys who feel they're more intelligent and don't get any credit, I don't get more respect. Rodney Dangerfield <laughs> is a good one. Yasker obviously knows what it's like, but what was it like, Lenny, to get to run around and play in the continent, this place of magic and wonder. Glorious. I mean, if you look at your hands and flame shoots out, that's a good day. I had a day where I had to have flame shooting out of my hands. Oh, really? And I just thought, wow, this is so great that it's not coming out of my ears or my butt. <laughs> I was gonna say. The CGI means it comes out of my hands. This is great. Yeah, it, to play in the continent, to be interacting with these characters and to see the extraordinary set design and architecture costuming and hair and makeup and the ears it was and i get to wear the ears sometimes I, I i got to have some and i do wear them to tesco's on occasion it's really good fun to wear the pointy ears to tesco's that's all i'm saying well thank you so much i really appreciate it both of you thank, thank you, you. Have a good so listen i know that your characters have this very special bond but i'm going to ask each of you to make the argument for why yours is the best new addition to the witcher why oh. ours is the best new addition to the is Witcher. In, you, in, each of you, why is your individual character the best new addition? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, Sindral's, Sindral's magic, the way he uses his, his magic for the purposes of um, developing society, I think is, uh, is fundamental for progression and, and growth. Um, I think he's done a lot for, uh, this feels like a job interview. <laughs> I, I, my weaknesses are, um, I can never say no. No, you know, I think, yeah, I think Syndral has a, an incredible intelligence that hasn't reached the end of its capacity yet. And, and he's striving to push himself to the limit for the better of, of elf kind. It's a strong case he's made here. <laughs> okay, so How I- However. <laughs> However. I raise you. Um, I I would say um, I think what Zachary brings to the series and to the world is very special, not only because of the kind of emotional psychological journey she goes on in terms of self-discovery and um, self-progression, but also the fact that she uses her magic to heal and to um, so to save other people and to pour back into elf kind, um, I think makes her very unique and it speaks to her kind of her capacity for empathy and her capacity for um, 
for love and her literal life-saving abilities. So that would be my case for Zachary. Uh, I've been asking people this question about their character, but because yours are so you know uniquely bonded, the show really uses tropes of both storytelling and characters in a great way. Did you two together look at any sort of pairs in pop culture or history to find um, inspiration for your performance? Ooh, I, not not so much actually. I think I think I have to say what f from my perspective. I think what's so kind of was so wonderfully appealing and kind of captivating about Zachary and Zindral's relationship on paper when when I received the script when I auditioned for the part is that it's so unique it feels mm. very different to a lot of kind of uh, pair or duo relationships that I've seen before and I think what was really wonderful about this experience is that Zach and I were able to do a lot of invention and creation and exploration ourselves and to really kind of build this relationship from the ground up mm. which was in and of itself a real a real privilege and challenge you know yeah, you, yeah. you don't really have a you have a blueprint the script but you're you're left to your own creative devices which i think was yeah it made it so so enjoyable yeah and definitely rich. Yeah. yeah yeah completely all right well thank you so much i really enjoyed this you're thank welcome you. thank you